Hello students, Katimani here for the Classic Study Center, Dharwad. My dear friends, today I would like to discuss with you this particular topic on vocabulary. What is vocabulary? What are the contents of vocabulary? How you have to enhance your vocabulary? What type of questions are going to appear on the use of vocabulary in the various competitive exams? My friends, normally during college days, school days and all that, students, you know, they don't give much importance to that. They think only about the academics. They think only about the subjects which are there. They go on studying those. They complete that. But my dear friends, when you are preparing for competitive exams, vocabulary is very important. Just if you look at the uh, recent question papers, Many number of questions are there on the use of vocabulary. Whatever exam it may be, vocabulary plays a very important role. For example, if you are reading the passage, if you, are, if you want to understand the paragraph given, that particular paragraph contains lot of words where synonyms are used, questions may arise to answer the opposite of that, antonyms, substitutions are used there in your uh, paragraphs, okay, idioms are also used, along with all those there are some words you know which look similar, they are going to confuse you. You have, to, in order to overcome that, you have to prepare yourselves with a particular uh, method. Okay, my dear friends, every word is important. Every word has got different meanings, you know, with respect to the situation. Every word and some they differ in a slight in a spelling or pronunciation or something like that. You have to be careful when you are using that. Okay, friends, we have got a lot of things to discuss about vocabulary. It's not possible overnight. It takes a long period of time. It takes a lot of efforts. There are different steps, you know, you have to learn in order to enhance your vocabulary. Okay. My dear friends, here vocabulary consists of synonyms, the words, which have the same meaning, the meaning of the word, synonym, antonym, the word which gives the opposite meaning. Okay, in the government exams, KPSC exams, you have number of questions on the use of synonyms, antonyms. Those words which appear there, many of you might not have heard about. Such type of words he is going to ask in the examination. You have to learn them in a systematic manner. Okay, friends, after that, synonyms, same meaning, antonyms, opposite meanings. Okay. Along with that, 
in the different uh, paragraphs comprehension part they use one word substitutions instead of giving a long explanation you are going to use a single word for that for example he is a person who does not believe in god he is a person who never prays who never meditates nothing what do you call him he is an atheist similarly many are there a young unmarried girl what do you call her an elderly person who has not married what do you call him a young man who is not married you know that bachelor similarly an elderly person who is not married he is not called as a bachelor many many different words are there where you have to acquaint yourself towards that one word substitutions so many are there who is a bigot who is a samaritan whom do you call a consentious who is an arsonist who is a philanthropist who is an arbitrator so many we will discuss that one by one friends we have to discuss that one by one okay fine synonyms antonyms one word substitutions right along with that in the competitive exams questions appear in the use of idioms what are idioms how are they used are they a part of vocabulary of course then why are they used in the paragraph what is the real intention behind using those idioms everything must be learnt in detail friends along with that many words are there which look similar which sound similar but they have different meanings those words you have to understand okay they are called as homonyms you have to know what are those how are they used huh? and uh, what are the different uh, uh, homonyms we come across okay friends so i would like to tell you that vocabulary consists of synonyms antonyms one word substitutions the use of idioms and you should also be familiar with the words which are commonly confused okay friends in the allotted time now let me show you uh some uh, of the words okay uh, okay let me discuss with you today some of the homonyms okay because normally in the competitive exams these appear in the use of errors questions on homonyms are given they give you a sentence at the end of the sentence they give two options both look similar but if you want to identify the right answer you should know the meaning of both and the sentence which is given okay friends my dear students we will discuss about vocabulary synonyms antonyms substitutions idioms everything but today 
let me tell you let me discuss about this one what is the meaning of homonyms okay words similar in sound or pronunciation but different in meaning are called as homonyms okay they look similar in uh, when you are uh, pronouncing them they look same but my dear friends they have a different meaning altogether questions on this have appeared in all the different competitive exams okay when you are uh, attending the case mains you know in the qualifying paper 100% you will get about 10 questions on the use of homonyms okay right students here let me tell you let me show you some examples okay for example look here dear friends i have given you one particular example okay here a l t e r alter here a l t a r alter both the words you know they sound same the pronunciation is also same but the spelling is different right a l t e r alter alter means you are going to change it may be a design it may be an idea it may be a thing it may be a building or something you want to change that you are using that word a l t e r alter okay change look here you cannot alter my you cannot alter my opinion about her you cannot change my opinion about her because i have been watching her since last month in the exam the same sentence would be given instead of a l t e r he will give this word over there a l t a r that is your error or the same sentence could be given in the exam with a blank over there blank and at the end of the sentence he will give both the options a l t e r a l t a r your duty is to identify the right answer there my dear friends as you know that today the competitive exams are not as they were about 10 15 years ago today every question paper has many questions on the use of vocabulary simple grammatical questions are rare okay few of them will be there you should have the knowledge of everything but my dear friends remember that you are going to prepare yourself with respect to the right use of vocabulary okay friends you got that the next one is a l t a r alter little bit change alter okay what is the meaning of alter a raised position is called as alter a higher position alter okay alter alter you are going to pronounce it in a little bit different way alter okay so here the meaning of that is a higher position a raised position okay in india incense incense means agarbatti 
okay incense is burnt udin ka dhyat so no is burnt at the altar in the temples and every holy place my dear friends instead of that particular word a l t a r he may give this word in your exam that becomes your error or he may give this sentence in the examination at the end of the sentence he may give you two options one is a l t a r one is a l t e r in order to get proficiency in order to gain confidence in order to remember these things you know you have to start using them in your day to day lives wherever the situation arises you got to use them when you go on using that you will never forget them okay so here for example you are uh, think you are preparing for the exams towards the end you can't sit and learn these things you know from the beginning you should have that okay that i am going to spend about 2 to 3 hours improving my vocabulary okay friends few more examples look here allusions a l l u s i o n s allusions this one illusions the only difference is a and i allusions what is the meaning of allusion what is the meaning of illusion allusions are basically indirect reference taking indirect reference of something that is allusion okay whereas illusion is a deception a deceptive way illusion trying to create something which is not there okay magicians illusion some people you know in order to tell something they create a sense of illusion or they try to create an atmosphere where that is not existing okay so here my dear students illusion he has given this particular sentence in a competitive exam what he has given sometimes allusions create unwanted problems which become very difficult to overcome what happens is when you are taking not taking a direct reference when you are taking an indirect reference that particular indirect reference may create a problem because the people may not understand it in the way you want to tell them or people may misunderstand that so here sometimes allusions create unwanted problems which become very difficult to overcome okay so my dear students here the word allusion should be used with the respect to the meaning as indirect references okay not telling a uh, directly not referring directly indirectly or referring something indirectly or telling somebody references okay similarly illusions look here a deceptive show the indian mythology regards the material world as an illusion as an illusions okay so what does that mean the indian mythology regards the material world as an illusion material world whatever is we see according to the indian mythology it is just a deception that which is uh, uh, not going to be there permanently one day which is going to vanish 
Okay, magicians use illusions in order to perform the tricks. Okay, illusions, they are basically a deceptive show. Okay, illusions and illusions. Similarly, this has appeared in one of the competitive exams very recently with respect to government selections. Both are pronounced in the same way, calendar, calendar, C-A-L-A-N-D-E-R, C-A-L-A-N-D-A-R. That particular word, calendar, is nothing but press. Okay, he has given there, please calendar my dress. As I am late for work today, I hope you don't mind. Look at that word. Instead of that particular word, he may use this word in that sentence. That becomes your error. Or in the examination, he may give you this sentence. At the end of the sentence, these two options may be given. If you do not know the difference between those two options, then if you are lucky, you will get the right one. If you are not lucky, then the wrong answer, you know, that will look very attractive. Okay, friends, are you getting that? So, here calendar is nothing but press or make something uh, neat, clean, calendar, okay. Similarly, this particular word, everybody knows that calendar, chart showing the dates. We are very familiar about that, but when you are writing them, many of you use the word er there, er, er, that is going to confuse you. Friends, after that, if you want to improvise, if you want to get a hold on that, start using that. Start using these words. Okay, next one, look here. Commonly, you use that current, current. Both look similar. The uh, pronunciation is almost same. But my dear friends, when you look at both the words, you know, one is C-U-R-R-A-N-T, current. Second one is C-U-R-R-E-N-T, current. You know, C-A-R-R-A-N-T. That is, the meaning of that is dried grapes. Vana Drakshi, Antheritano, Kanadadali, dried grapes. He uh, sorry, she is very fond of black currants and she prefers a milkshake with ice cream. The same sentence has appeared in one of the competitive exams. My dear friends, instead of this particular word, C-U-R-R-A-N-T-S, he may use this word there. So then that becomes an error or dear friends, he will give this particular sentence. In the end, you know, he will give both the options there. You are asked to identify the right one. Is it clear? So, here current, nothing but dried grapes. C U double R E N T, current, that is present. Now, what is the current news. Instead of this particular word, he may use C-U-R-R-A-N-T over here. That becomes your error or he may give this sentence in your exam and at the end, you know, he will use both the words. You have to be careful, my dear friends. Similarly, look at this example, the next one. 
conscientious and cautious both are little bit different conscientious means committed hard working honest sincere dedicated everything put together becomes committed a person who is totally hard working committed who is uh, honest who is prompt punctual everything put together becomes conscientious and cautious cautious means aware cautious means very careful about every minute detail okay so here before i go to the next one every employer respects conscientious workers because and sorry conscientious workers and he has a very strong potential who that particular conscientious worker similarly cautious okay aware i was quite aware i was quite cautious of his activities therefore i never took his words lightly okay friends many words are there if you just look here you will get lot of them we have to discuss many more examples okay friends here today i would like to end this session now and in my next sessions you know i would like to discuss with you some of the other important synonyms antonyms one word and all those friends till then take care stay home be safe goodbye thank you very much